Hello everyone, it is guys here. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Today's video, I got a gear guide for you. I did a poll on my YouTube um, community page, and I've been posting stuff on there quite recently, actually. But uh, the vast majority of you want to see a gear guide, and this will actually complete the the the, the tiny trilogy inside of my resource guide of. All of the loose categories, so the loose screws, the loose springs. The last one I got for you is loose gears. Um, gears is really important. Um, up until probably about you kill your first queen, and then you have repair kits, so it's kind of useless after that. However, crafting weapons is so useful, and it's using a lot of mods. So you're gonna need gears a lot in this game. But without further ado, let's just jump in on the three locations that are best to get gears in the game. Our very first location is West Tech. Now, at West Tech, there's not a whole lot you can really do other than just run in there and um, just, just kill absolutely everything. Um, what you're mainly looking for here is microscopes and bone cutters. Those are really, or bones, bone saws, bone cutters, whatever they're called in the game. Those are really the main things you're going to look for because they give you the most amount of gears at this location. Um, and it's just like every other location here, what you're really looking for is... Like typewriters, desk fans, um, and then microscopes, and then bone cutters, which at this location is the most prevalent at. Um, at the end of my run, I got about eight. Um, it's not too great, however, though that is quite a bit of screws, especially for a new player. Uh, but at this at this point of the game, you're probably trying to get a fixer or a handmade or anything good, and the only way you can get it is either crafting it or getting it by one of our friendly, friendly, high-level players. Because the game has a really positive community. Um, but this is the best location, or the third best location to get gears. Um, it's pretty simple. It's actually the best place to get XP, too, out of the three locations. So, which is why it's on this list. But, again, it's not the best. However, though, the XP kind of balances out quite a lot. <laughs> The next location we got is Sugar Grove. Now, Sugar Grove, at this location, what you're going to be mainly looking for is typewriters. This place has an abundance of typewriters, especially in the office portion of the building. There's going to be a ton, an absolute ton of typewriters, but also desk fans, too, which give you a pretty hefty amount of gears to use in your crafting adventures or whatnot. Now I actually got pretty, pretty unlucky at this location and ended up only getting 8 gears, but those 8 gears can go towards a lot of things, um, so even still, it's still a great place to get gears, I highly recommend it. Next up we have Robka Research Center, Robka Research Center, if I can fucking speak English today. Um, we're going to be looking for, just like at West Tech, you're going to be looking for microscopes and bone cutters. I also got quite a bit of legendaries and quite a bit of XP as well. And this is actually a really great place to get steel and lead too because the amount of robots here are absolutely ridiculous. In total, at the end of my Rapka run, I ended up getting 14 gears, which is really, really good. Um, and, and in total of the three runs, or the... Each run I did at these three locations, I got a total of 37 gears. Um, that is a lot of gears, especially in the mid game when you're crafting weapons and armor still, or getting it free for players. But I think after like level 20, people just kind of stop handing you stuff. Um, or, or at least I do, at least. But it is a very good route. Um, I absolutely recommend following this route if you're going to farm for gears um, or just go to the, any other location. Honestly, there's a shit ton of desk fans and typewriters just all over the wasteland. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, it is a really, really short one because I hate dragging out videos super long and I just thought... A four to five minute guide would just be so much more helpful than people making 20 minute guides. These are just three locations that are really, really good at getting gears in the game. 
Uh, but my name is guys. Thank you all so much for watching once again. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, we're actually really close to 400 subs, so please drop a f sub if you haven't already. Uh, my name is guys. Like I said, for like the 80th time, <laughs> I will talk to you all later. Peace.